Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, we want to do another uh, outdoor video, comment on a little bit of news coming out. And uh, this is from OMG Ubuntu. And the title is a little bit misleading of the article, but let's go ahead and uh, dig through it anyway. The, the title of the article right now says, Ubuntu will no longer track which packages users install. Now, what's been, um, what's incorrect about the title? Well, what they're boiling down to is the application called Popcon. So Popcon is an application from Debian, which on the Debian installer gives you the option to install it or not install it. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to run a cron job on the system and once per week it's going to look at all of the applications installed in the system and rank them in the order that which applications have you used most recently all the way down to the ones you've never used. It's going to take this data and it's going to send it off to a central server. Debian and Ubuntu had its own PopCon server. And so what happens on Ubuntu is for a long time PopCon was installed by default unlike the option that Debian gives you but they've never actually enabled it. At least no time I'm aware of they've enabled it. They might have in the past. I don't know. Uh, but for at least the last several versions of Ubuntu, it's installed by default, but it's not actually turned on. So if you want to take advantage of the popularity contest, is what it's called, PopCon, then you just need to enable it by running a simple command, which will add it to the cron jobs. But the take home is that Ubuntu had PopCon installed by default, but they are now taking this off. Now, does this mean that they're no longer tracking data? Well, I'm looking at this with a different eyes and going, and this isn't an Ubuntu hate video. I'm just saying, well, it's not necessary because the direction Ubuntu has been going. Let's go ahead and look at the article and then I will explain why this is an unnecessary thing. So basically the PopCon tool was shipped as part of standard Ubuntu install since the distro's early days. Um, but now it is being just decoupled from the install image. So in other words, it's not going to be automatically installed, although you can still install it. It's in the repos if you want to do it. What does it do? Well, it gathers statistics to determine which packages are the most popular with Ubuntu users. The idea in the early days was to install PopCon so that Ubuntu could see which applications people were using, and so they would use this data to figure out which applications to pre-install on Ubuntu when new versions of Ubuntu came out. So it had decent decent goals. Hey, the distro is better if it comes pre-installed with all the applications everyone uses. The problem is they never really took full advantage of that. So it's been added on default for a long time, but they're going to take it, take it off. Now, what the article says is that, oh, Ubuntu will no longer be logging which, uh, which applications you're installing. So it says future installs of the Ubuntu desktop will no longer include the popular contest package, which turns out just as well because the thing doesn't work. Well, it turns out as of 18.04 LTS, the uh, front end and the back end of the package have always been broken anyway, so it doesn't actually do any work. So they're removing something that doesn't work and nobody uses. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Now, Really, what's going on here? Does this mean, oh, Ubuntu's moving towards the direction of privacy? No. <laughs> Let me explain. And again, this is not an Ubuntu hate video. I just want to point out that there are, there are concerns with logging and tracking what people do. Of course, it's completely anonymized. Uh, if the systems are working right, you know, they, they might collect the initial IP address, and as long as they drop it within a few minutes or so, perfectly fine. Uh, but nevertheless, there are still, there are going to be a subset of people that are going to have a problem with that. All right, now, first and foremost, is this something that, that Ubuntu is dropping this, they no longer care about it? No. They're still tracking the data. That's something the article doesn't even mention. It doesn't come close to mentioning. Because what does Ubuntu do? Well, they don't ship anything with the app system any, anymore. I mean, I can't say anymore. They're, they're prioritizing the snaps. So when you go in to install any software that is not included on Ubuntu out of, the, out of the box, you're going to install the snap unless you do some override to make sure you're installing the repository version. Here is where we have the difference. With PopCon, you had to enable PopCon, which was installed but not enabled, and then it would weekly do that cron job and send the data out. Okay, that's what it would do. 
And who knows, if your computer wasn't on right then and there, maybe it wouldn't, you know? Depends on how the job is written. Now, the difference is, though, is that in modern Ubuntu, where they're using the Snap Store, where everything bounces off of Snapcraft, by default, Snapcraft does everything that PopCon did, but it does it in real time, not as a matter of how popular the application is on your system each week, but more of a who has installed what, or I should say what has been installed per system. We can't say that they know who the people are. That is anonymized data. I'm going to agree with that. But nevertheless, Snapcraft, which is the one proprietary place that you can get your snaps unless the distro has worked with them to develop their own snap store, they get a chance to see the operating system and the applications being downloaded. So in other words, what PopCon attempted to do in the past... Now the Snap Store does by default utilizing the proprietary back end because they are keeping the statistics. Remember when part of this Linux Mint debate, they came out and said, well, behind Ubuntu, Linux Mint was the number one source. See, we have all the data. Well, where'd that data come from? It came from the fact that they were collecting the data on the people about which operating systems downloaded snaps. So they're logging this data about which applications people are using, what operating system they're coming from, and who knows what else they're collecting because it is a proprietary store. And that's part of the point. So up here when the article says Ubuntu will no longer track which packages users install, no, that's actually the complete opposite. The old popularity contest PopCon used to show which applications are people it's do they have installed, but which applications also do they use on a regular basis? That was what it did. Now, Ubuntu, through Snapcraft, completely logs what users install. It doesn't necessarily log do they use that application, but it does log which they install and which application or which operating system that data was collected through. So, there we have it. Um, did Ubuntu... Uh, should Ubuntu have gotten rid of PopCon? Well, they should have never installed it by default. It is good that Ubuntu has never implemented it by default. So you've never installed Ubuntu and had popularity contest running in the background. It's never been enabled as far as I know. Maybe it was back in the way back days. But in the recent versions of Ubuntu, at least going back a few years, no, it hasn't been there. All they're doing now is, hey, they're no longer shipping that particular package with the, with the, the default Ubuntu installed. But again, everything they're doing is Snapcraft, which every application default defaults to Snaps. Anyway, they're now tracking more data, and it's actually working now. Is that a bad thing? That really depends on what sector you're in. I'm not going to take that, that much of a stance there, just to indicate that there are going to be some sects of the population that will object to any of that data collection. There are going to be valid arguments on both sides. Of course, on the one side, it's a very valid argument to know which applications or people are using because you can indeed, like Ubuntu's original goal, do a better job of installing a system that somebody already likes out of the box statistically. But there's also going to be the group of people that simply cannot have any amount of data in any way, shape, or form being tracked and collected. And I, overall, I am against any of that type of statistics going out across the internet unless it's an ex, you know, explicit consent by the user. And I have a sneaky suspicion that most people don't realize that everything you download from the Snap Store is being logged as a download in the Snap Store applications because that's the way the system works. So there's my thoughts on it. It's just something interesting where they're coming out. We have an article about it, but Snap actually overrides what they were trying to do to begin with. And whatever that happens to be worth, I'm not saying it's specifically good. I'm not saying it's specifically bad. Hey, I don't use Ubuntu anymore. <laughs> I'll take that for what it is. So anyway, uh, thanks for coming along on this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts and your comments down below. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.